Russian troops are dropping aerial bombs on Russian citizens remaining in the country's Kursk region where Ukrainian army has captured swathes of land, Ukrainian telegram channels reported on Thursday. One of the telegram channels has published a video of what appears to be the aftermath of the bombing of Sverdlakovo village in the region. The channel reminded that one of the Russian bombs has been dropped on Lebedevka village in Sudzinsky district in Kursk region, adding that the family with a two-month-old baby and several other children live in the area. This was not the first reported case of Russians bombing their own citizens in Kursk region. In late August, Ukrainian media reported that Russian forces launched 17 airstrikes on their own settlements with 27 guided aircraft bombs in a day. Moreover, Commander of Ukraine's ground forces Oleksandr Pavlyuk claimed on August 31st that Russian troops were wiping the Ukrainian captured town of Sudza in Russia's Kursk region off the face of the earth. Ukrainian armed forces launched a surprise incursion in Russia's Kursk region on August 6, which became the largest attack on Russian territory since the start of full fledged invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. The Middle East is on the brink of a regional war with the conflict between Israel and Hamas marking one year on October the 7th. The longer the war lasts, especially in long-standing geopolitical flashpoints, the more likely it is to spill over not only into military conflicts, but also into hybrid wars where political, strategic and economic interests intersect. Russia's war against Ukraine is an example of what the Middle East may be facing, writes Foreign Policy. While Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 captured global attention, the conflict began earlier with the 2014 Euro-Maidan Revolution, the annexation of Crimea, and Russia's support for separatists in eastern Ukraine. International efforts to resolve the conflict have failed, leading to tensions escalating into a full-scale war. The hybrid dimension of this conflict has become a key aspect covering everything from sanctions and cyber attacks to a proxy war between Moscow and Kiev that extends far beyond Europe. The sanctions imposed by the US and EU against Russia have become an important means of pressuring Moscow without direct military intervention. The West has imposed thousands of sanctions on individuals, companies and sectors, particularly in the banking and energy sectors. Secondary sanctions against countries and companies cooperating with Russia are used to limit circumvention schemes. For example, banks in Kyrgyzstan cooperate with Russian institutions in violation of sanctions, which threatens the country with isolation. Cyber attacks have become a tool for both Ukraine and Russia, targeting critical infrastructure and government institutions. Proxy conflicts have also spread to the Middle East and Africa, where Russia and Ukraine support different forces such as in Sudan and Mali. All this highlights the potential for conflicts in regions such as the Middle East to become hybrid involving multiple players and interests. A prolonged conflict risks attracting in new players and further economic and strategic consequences. Recall Hezbollah's acting leader declared that the Lebanese militant group is focused on hurting the enemy by targeting Haifa and other parts of Israel, including Tel Aviv. Sheikh Naim Qasem, Hezbollah's deputy chief, vowed in a televised speech to defeat our enemies and drive them out of our lands. It was his third appearance since Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah was killed in an Israeli airstrike in a southern suburb of Beirut. A video has spread on the internet in which eyewitnesses recorded a military cemetery in Tatarstan where Russian servicemen killed in the war with Ukraine are buried. The cemetery is overflowing with graves, which emphasizes the scale of the losses on the Russian side. 
The footage shows numerous Russian flags and flags of various units, which allows the site to be identified as a military cemetery. Comments on the video say that the losses are so great that people decided to film the cemetery and show it to relatives so they could see the scale of what was happening. The incident highlights the serious losses the Russian military is suffering in the ongoing conflict. Cemeteries filled with Russian soldiers killed in the war with Ukraine are rapidly growing across Russia. Earlier, a video has appeared online showing an eyewitness taking a picture of the size of a military burial site on a mobile phone. Social media users note that this is an unprecedented phenomenon as nothing like this has happened during Afghanistan or the Chechen Wars. The published footage shows a huge burial site easily identified as military by the flags of Russia and Russian airborne and marine units. According to conservative estimates by Western media, the number of Russians killed in the war has already reached several hundred thousand. Cemeteries of those killed in the northeastern military district continue to grow rapidly throughout Russia, a completely unprecedented phenomenon. The senseless and criminal war will leave behind a noticeable trace in the form of hundreds of thousands of graves throughout the country. Putin will die and people will wander among these graves and ask themselves, why was all this done? Why were so many people exterminated? And the only answer will be the gloomy cemetery silence. The Russian telegram channel, Seattle Vetra, commented on the footage. Короче, пиздец, Эдик, тут. А? Ужас. Да мама пообещала.